Uh, this is how I do a square start if there's a whole lot of uh, strands. And I mark the middles with the blue masking tape, which is not too tacky. And it's actually pretty easy to remove even after you've um, tightened up the, the plating. So I just mark the middles. It's Obviously, it's not really important if your strands are this short, but when, you know, if you're doing a eight foot whip, then you want to make sure you mark them pretty, pretty well. Um, and then just, just like always, uh, just like with fewer strands, everything works exactly the same. You just take each one and go over, under, over, under, over, under. Uh, See, did I get that? <laughs> and, yeah. And I'll just do that and turn this back on in a second. Okay, so we've got everything, um, everything started. Everyone goes over, under, over, under, over, under until you get to the last one. So yeah, this one would go over, under, but there's nothing left to go over, under. I've got them all through. The last one just goes straight up through over, under, over, under. It ends, it starts out under on this side. Go around to the other side. And go over, under, over, under through this side, ending up back here. So this is going over, under, over. Under, over. Under, over, under, over, under. Okay. All right, just like that. And then one from the other side. Again, I'm coming around, it's starting out under. And it comes around and goes over, under, over, under, all the way through, ending up here. There we go. Under. Sorry, this is starting out under. It should go over on this side. So, over, under, over, under, over, under. So this is a, this is a 20 plat, which means I've got 10 strands on each side, that's 10 strands total, but they start in the middle, so I've got 10 here, 10 here. Okay, and now I've got one strand from this side fed through around and back, one strand from this side fed through around and back. So once I've gone around like that, this is exactly the same as a square start with a small number of strands, it's just hard to hold this many in your hand. Uh, and I pick up the entire thing and I stick a dowel in through the loop formed by going around to the other side. And then I make sure that those are sitting against the dowel flat. Okay. So I don't put it directly on the handle at this point because it's just easier to handle with a small short piece of dowel. Even if these are, you know, um, 16 foot strands it's it's uh easier to handle it on a small dowel and then i take both sides and i just start to pull on it a little bit tighten them up a little and then especially those last two that went around the back One of them and just pull, pull, pull. Take the other one. Pull, pull, pull. Right, gently. Flatten these strands out. Now, normally I wouldn't pick this up, but I'm going to so you can see what I've got. Just one strand from each side going around the back. And I tighten it up on the dowel. Till it looks like that. Okay. Now I get those 
pretty tight around the dowel and that gives me some place to hold. I just put my thumb on that and I stick my finger out the back side to keep the two side strands separate from each other. So I just makes it easier to know what I'm doing. Here, I put my thumb on the first two and just start tightening up all the rest, just a little bit. Not too much. And I try not to pull the blue uh, markers too far through. So I gotta go from side to side in order to avoid doing that. Okay, so I've got just one strand from each side going around the back. And I just go back and forth. If they've pulled through at this point, I pull them back to the top so that I make sure that the centers are always where the plat starts. You don't have to worry too much about it, but you, know, you want to keep it as close as you can. So you don't run out of strands when you get to the end. And this one coming through till it's back out at the top. Most of these have stayed pretty well in place. Okay, and just take both sides. Now that it's kind of snug around the dowel, and I just make sure that everything is still nice and straight. And the strands are in order, the way they come out of the braid. And give it a little squeeze, kind of like rolling, to kind of flatten the top. It won't get completely flat because I don't have enough strands to go around this diameter, but my handle that I would actually be putting it on would be of a lesser diameter here. I've got 10 strands on each side. One of them has gone around the back from each side, and I just do one more from each side. So I just get two strands around the back from each side. This one's over the top. Bring it around to the other side. And I just go over, under, over, under, over, under. Over, under, over, under. Over, under. Over. Straighten everything out again. At this stage, you want to keep everything really straight. So you just straighten it out every time. Make sure that all your strands are in order. So now I've uh, got. Two from that side. Let's get the second one on this side. Again, it's starting out over. I'm going to come in under, over, under, over. Okay. So now I've got two strands going around the back from each side for a total of four strands all the way around. Snug it up nice and straight. You don't have to make it too tight. This is not the handle itself again, so it's going to tighten up later. But make sure all your strands are coming out in the order they should be. So now I've got two strands from each side wrapped around, go four, looks like that on the back, as you can see, still too loose because my diameter is in. And I just slip it off, take the whip handle and slip it in place. 
and I'm ready to really tighten it down and start your plat. After it's all um, after it's all done, then I come back in and and pull these little pieces of tape out. Uh, sometimes I have to use a fid to stick under there and pull them out. If they're really tight in there um, and you can't get them out, um, usually after you roll the whip at the end, uh, they'll they'll come out pretty easily. They they just slide out as long as you use the low tack blue masking tape. That's it. That's your square start with a lot of strands.